हाई स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट कंपाइलर डिजाइन वॉज द सिंबल टेबल्स सो द सिंबल टेबल इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन द कंपाइलर डिजाइन सो विच इज एक्टिंग एज एन मीडिएटर विच सपोर्टिंग डिवाइस नॉट द मीडिएटर यू कैन टेक द सपोर्टिंग डिवाइस सपोर्टिंग मॉड्यूल फॉर ऑल द फेसेस so there are different phases in the compiler you already know that the lexical phase syntactic syntax phase semantic phase intermediate code generation code optimization everything will be depends on the symbol table okay so while you are seeing the process of the compiler design so there your all the phases are connected to the uh, you you just recall that structure different phases will be there all the phases are connected to the one thing that is a symbol table and here there is an error checking okay so all the faces are connected to the symbol table now let's see what is the symbol table was a symbol tables are the data structures that are used by compilers to hold information about the source program constructs so what the symbol table will holds will holds the information about the source program you are writing some source program and the compiler is going to convert the source program into the target program okay so while it converting the source to the target it needs some information regarding the source program that information will be stored in the symbol table so it is used to store information about the occurrence of various entities such as objects classes variable names functions etc so it is used by both analysis phase and the synthesis phase so what the symbol table will store the symbol symbol table will store the information about the occurrence of so in your source program you may came across different objects classes variable names functions structures pointers interfaces so many things you you will came across so all that source program related information the variables and the data types and everything will be stored in the symbol table so during the so it can be used in all the phases that is the analysis phase and the synthesis phase so analysis phase is nothing but the front end and the synthesis phase is the back end so front end is nothing but it's a lexical analyzer syntactic analyzer semantic analyzer and the intermediate code generation so the back end is the intermediate code uh, and this code optimization okay finally you get the target machine code so that you know that so analysis phase is a front end and the synthesis phase is the back end so these symbol table is used in both the analysis phase as well as the synthesis phase the symbol table used for the following purpose let's see what are the different purposes uh, in it is used to store the names of all entities in a structured form at one place so in a structured form it is going to be stored in the symbol table the names of all entities the first thing is names of all entities will be stored in the symbol table it is used to verify if a variable has been declared or not so why we are storing all the names of all the entities names in the symbol table because whenever you want to uh, add one more name okay to the entity so first it is going it is going it's check into the symbol table and verify if a variable has been declared or not suppose if already declared it do it uh, it won't declare again so once if the program started if that variable is already declared the symbol table is not supposing to declare again if that variable is used in the program okay so it is used to determine the scope of a name so the symbol table is also used to determine the scope of a name means what is the lifetime of that variable whether this variable is declared locally or the globally like that that information is also stored in the symbol table it is used to implement type checking by verifying the assignments and expressions in the source code or semantically correct so it is also doing one more uh, work that is uh, it is performing the type checking operation it is used the symbol table is mainly useful to implement the type checking not it is not doing the type checking but is it is used it is helpful for the type checking 
so why it is used a uh, helpful for type checking because it stores the assignment operations expressions of the source code in the symbol table so while type checking module is performing the operation so by verifying the assignments and expressions in the source code or semantically correct or not is checked by the type checking so the symbol table it is used to implement the type checking by verifying the assignment and expressions in the source code or semantically correct or not so a symbol table can either be a linear or a hash table so the symbol table that is present uh, in the compiler it can be uh, represented either linear or hash table means it's a linker list or a hash table the symbol table maintains the entry for each name as the, like this so how it is going to enter the each name of a variable in the symbol table symbol name type attribute so this is a format in this way it will store in the symbol table about the information of the name so let's take a variable suppose the variable is declared like static int integer salary static integer salary so it will be represented like static is a symbol name so this is symbol name and the integer you know it's a data type and the salary is nothing but the attribute okay so it is stored in the form of like this static int salary so the symbol table stores an entry in this format so remember this format whenever you want to insert any record whenever you want to insert any value not you the compiler insert uh, insert in any value in the symbol table it stores the information like this symbol name type and attribute now let's see what is the use of the symbol table the symbol table information is used by the analysis and the synthesis phase we I already explained that so the symbol table information used by the analysis phase as well as the synthesis phase so to verify that used identifiers have been defined or declared the symbol tables will be used and to verify that expression and assignments are semantically correct type check correct or not that is a type check uh, so the symbol table is used for the type checking and the symbol table is used to generate the intermediate or the target code so these are the different uses of the symbol table thank you